Hello and welcome to episode 26 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to just go through something that occasionally we forget when we're dumping loads of notes and articles and web clips and everything else into Evernote. Now, recently I listened to an episode of Mac Power Users uh, podcast and one of their, their guests at the time was a guy called Mike Williams. Now, Mike Williams is the CEO of David Allen Company, which is the company that oversees everything to do with getting things done, the book that was originally written by David Allen. And Mike Williams mentioned about his the tools that he uses. He actually uses OmniFocus, and Evernote is his digital storing system. And there was a, a phrase he used when talking about Evernote, was, which was, Evernote needs to be your um, reference material storage, but you need to set it up for retrieval. And what he means by that is, you don't want to be messing around, searching and searching and searching for notes that you may have put there three, four, six months, or even a year ago, and then you're wondering, how the hell am I going to find this note? Now, in my particular case, if I have a look, I, I think I've, I, uh, where does it tell me? I have a lot of notes in here, uh, several thousand notes. Uh, I think when I last looked, it was probably in the region of about four or 5,000 notes. And, you know, I've been collecting these since 2009. So for seven years, I've been using Evernote. And, you know, retrieval is going to be the most important thing once your Evernote starts growing. And periodically, usually once every year or sometimes once every two years, I go through and I um, sort of prune my notes because some notes have just been left in there when I don't actually need them anymore. It's a long process and I usually do it when I take a winter vacation, just in those quiet moments when I'm sat around with nothing much to do. But on a day-to-day -day basis during my working life, I don't have time to go through my Evernote and to start culling notes that I don't need. So when I'm setting up Evernote and when you set up Evernote, you really need to be thinking about how you will retrieve the note. Now, for me, uh, I'm very much into the tagging system. So I want to be able to collect and tag things so that I can find them. Now, for those of you who followed my system, uh, followed my series for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of James Bond. Now, although I have a tagging system, I'm going to just show you, although I have a tagging system that is a little bit um, different from a simple tagging system. So if you look here, I've got interest. If I open up my interests, whoops, I did that wrong. If I open up my interest folders here, you'll see that here I've got James Bond. And in there, I've got 148 notes. Now, because I've got a, uh, a, a prefix word here of interest dash James Bond, you might think that this would be difficult to find. But actually, the way that Evernote's um, search functionality works, it's looking for the word. So all I need to do in here, now I have a saved search for James Bond, but all I need to do is James Bond in here and I can say show all notes and it will show me 188 notes. Now, as you probably remember from the tag, there's actually less than that, but that's because it's looking for particular notes. So I can find all my notes on James Bond right here, which is fantastic. Um, I can actually type into the search uh, course notes uh, or course ideas. So I can click on there and I've got 43 notes for different types of courses. So for me, it doesn't matter how I tag it because it's looking out for the key words. Um, I've got one here, Land Rover, which is another uh, interest that I have. So uh, I can search for notes for Land Rover. Um, if I type in there, um, and I've got quite a few all notes, Land Rover, but it's actually picked up down here. I wouldn't necessarily have to go in here. Um, but it's picked up the notes. Now here I've got some career names. These guys are actually uh, employees at Jaguar Land Rover Career. Um, but down here I've got all sorts of things that I've picked up that have all got to do with James Bond, uh, sorry, Land Rover. Which So for me, 
the way I look at Evernote and the way I use Evernote is it's actually all about retrieval. So I want to be able to type in a keyword that might not necessarily be the actual tag that I'm looking for and be able to find that note very quickly. And this is one of the best things about Evernote. But I really wanted to take this opportunity in this episode to help you to when you're setting up Evernote. So in the early days when you're using Evernote, I know it's it's going to be very easy to find your notes. But after a year or two years or three years, you're going to have hundreds, if not thousands of notes in there. And you need to be able to retrieve those notes quickly. So of course, we can use the structure of notebooks and tags. And that obviously makes it easy. But there are those notes where you think, oh, I remember putting that article in there about Arthur C. Clarke, for example, you want to be able to type in Arthur C. Clarke and find that note within seconds. You don't want to be messing around looking for the note because then pro uh, procrastination jumps in. Say, oh, yeah, that note. And oh, oh, yeah, we should have a look at that. Suddenly you've gone off track. So remember, when you're setting up your Evernote, whatever way you want to do it, whether you want to do it through notebooks or tags or anything else, always keep in mind retrieval. How are you going to retrieve this note in five months time or one year's time? Once you get that into your head when you're using Evernote, Evernote becomes a tool. It's like, as a lot of people say, it's your second brain. And that to me is how Evernote should be working. It should be working as your second brain. It certainly is my second brain and I have it. That's why I have Evernote everywhere I go. And that's the way you should be thinking. It's your second brain. It's where you're keeping all your ideas, thoughts, interests, everything needs to be going into Evernote. And another quick point I would like to do, don't confuse your Evernote as your task manager unless you specifically set it up as your task manager. I personally like to keep my task manager separate from Evernote because Evernote is my reference materials center and Todoist is my task center. I like those hard edges because it means that when I'm in one or the other, I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, I digress. So the main point of this episode was, please, when you're setting up Evernote, always keep in mind, how are you going to retrieve that note in, in a few months time or a year's time? OK, I hope you found this uh, episode useful. Please, if you have any questions about this, drop a line in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer you. Please also don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest information as and when I post it. And for the rest of you, or for all of you, I wish you all a very, very productive week.